Why, well, hello there! Um, today I received the notification that I had a package to uh, get from my uh, supplier. And it's this little thing. Board games manufacturing long pack. Hmm? Mm. Sounds good. But if we turn to this side instead, we do have the Carnival Zombie 2nd Edition Deluxe Box. Um, 12 kilos, no, it weighs about 5 kilos. It's a big package, as you can see, so I am gonna cut this open. Move that box. So you'll see, let's get rid of this tape and lift this and make sure that we only cut the tape and nothing inside. Okay, what do we have here? Paper, lots of paper, and we do have some commercials, Spiel Schmiede, board game crowdfunding. Then the main attraction, I believe. <sighs> this is what we have been waiting for. <laughs> it's large, really large. We'll look at it in just a minute. I'm gonna go through here. Here is some uh, add-ons. The book, uh, the boarded bag, the cubes and all that jazz. More paper. Oh, make sure we don't miss anything. And in the bottom, a small piece of paper. So that's it. So if you do it like this, then you will see what I have here. So we start out with the embroidered bag. The Abyss. Nice. Satin. No, was it called? Silk bag? Not to be sold. It's an add-on. Hand broidered bag. And then we do have the 55 uh, printed cubes here. I'm going to see what that contains. Apart from a few boxes of silk gel. So here are the wound markers. Let's we'll see about that. Are they called wound markers? Long time since I watched a play for this. It's been a long time coming. We have the black cubes. These are the barricades at least. Plenty of them. Uh, and then we have the innocent civilian, the blue cubes. So, this little fellow with a glare. And scissors, just to get the plastic off. And then I'm going to tear so I don't accidentally cut. I'm going to look at the box first before oh, we get it open. So it's a big box. Uh, nice artwork. This is gold embroidered or embroidered on uh, stamped. And it's the limited edition. And let's turn it over. We have all the details. Um, if you want to read it, you can pause the video now. Otherwise, I'll just look through. There's nothing new here. 
that I haven't seen before. It just says what's unlocked and what's not unlocked. So, let's get this open. Five kilograms of... Ooh, here's another embroidered bag. Not embroidered, another bag. So now I have an extra one. Then we have the map. Let's see. And as promised, there are two sides of it. This, let's see if I can position it right, is the Mediolanum. We have the boss passes, we have all the different zombies and stuff, and all the player information. So this is the original uh, with Venetia. Let's see if I can um, zoom out and just get this a bit tilted. So this is the original. This I recognize with this track and the center one here. So, no surprises. Good quality, sturdy. Then we do have a Venice guide. So these are the rules. And then we have the Medi Mediolanum guide. And these are the rules for that. And the holy bomb. These are scenarios, I believe. Let's see how many. Holy bomb, just a matter of time. Airship, Nightwood, Freedom Bridge, etc. No rest, no peace, destroy your ship. Armored car. These are special rules. Then we have the character reference for Menegino and Balanzone and the aerial screw. And let's see what else do we have here. <laughs> These are Path of Saints. This was so long ago that I do not really remember everything. But this is the boss reference. So we have the Doge, the Tenor, the Mistress, the Gondolier, and so on. With the location lists and uh, special rules there. And next up is tokens. Tokens, 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 tokens. See, those are a bit warped, but nothing that I don't think that I can fix. These, I believe, have been uh, one of the problems with the first edition was these uh, were not uh, they didn't stand out enough against the background so they were hard to miss i think they have made the contrast there and this is the dead pile which i am looking forward to using and let's see here then this is what made this go so much over time oh i'm not sure if you can see this yes you can okay. We have the Brie, Pan, Arrow, Bess, and so on. So they have marked up where everything goes. I like that. So you have all the minis that they made sure was complete before uh, the campaign started, but they weren't. And 
and this is the masterpiece of the collection, I believe. It's a big sturdy one. Let's see here, yeah. I believe they are, are really good quality. Uh, since they took so long to get to us. This is some Captain Hook. No, it's not. They have these names, all of them. Uh, and I believe the white here, white, I'm not sure if you can see the difference in color. It's, you have one, this one is a bit brownish, grayish, and this one is white. I'm sure the camera has color balance for it. So I believe the white ones are our protagonists in this. And then we do have all the boss cards and stuff. Here are the green zombies. And here is another thing. The coin. It's a heavy piece. Let's see if we can get this out of the way. This is integrated, yes. This is not. And here we have uh, the character cards and the character equipment. I believe this is the same. We have red zombies, we have yellow zombies, we have standees for the cardboard if we want to use that. A few extra pieces, we have what we have in the other box there. White, purple, grey, brown and so on. And there's nice art here in the bottom. Um, and more black cubes. Let's put all this back for now. And then we have, let's see, there are two bags to sort all the stuff in. I have a few hundred here. And then we do have the play cards. So this is how you're supposed to read this. Arletion. Men they should have those <laughs> writing somewhere else so you could really read them because this isn't readable. Cap Capitan Spaventa. Yeah, maybe they are somewhere. And player rates, one for each player, double sided. Very good, very good, very good. So, that is everything that this box contained. Let's see if I can uh, be included in the shot as well. And uh, I've been waiting for this game since I saw it on Board Game Geek's uh, playthrough of the first edition many moons ago. And I was about number one. No, I was very early in, in backing this for the deluxe edition because I really liked it. Then we, it's been a waiting game. Three years? Four years? Something? So this will be thoroughly studied during the night. Uh, evening and my whole afternoon now <laughs> so it may hit the table quite soon I'm looking forward to it so I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing and take and bye bye